and we're at 165, and we all can't wait. Vincenzo Joseph, two-time NCAA champion, three-time finalist, undefeated going up against the two-time All-American Alex Marinelli and last year's Big Ten champion. And we took a look at their three previous meetings here. It's all about this position here with the over and under inside trip. And here you see the dual meet back in 2018. And the bull was able to go ahead and put him down off that inside tri trip. Same thing, scramble situation. This time, Joseph works for the inside trip. Marinelli anticipates it, sets himself back. And then now the adjustment by Marinelli, excuse me, by, by Joseph here going with the lateral drop off that inside position. And, you know, it's a six-point swing either way when these guys line up in that position. And Joseph comes through the number one seed through a tough game. Isaiah White, he's in a championship. Alex Marinelli comes from the number two seed, has no problems. Evan Wick did not compete, stepped on the mat. Um, medical forfeit. Evan Wick, the third seed, did not compete, hoping to get an uh, a, um, at-large bid. And that would have made Marinelli's side tougher. But uh, they're both here as anticipated. Well, I'm looking for the adjustments, Tim. And uh, the, the, the big thing adjustment to me is, is that is the Iowa coaching staff going to want Alex Marinelli to be able to lock up in that position? Because that's that, that over and under position, inside trip. And Vincenzo Joseph's won two NCAA titles uh, in that position with against Isaiah Martinez. And it's like... You know, have we have we uh, exhausted the, the fire in that position, or or, or do we want to st still continue to play We're with through it? it gentlemen. We're and I think he's going to keep himself in a really low stance, like he's doing right now, and force Joseph to do just what he did right there, get to a leg and fight it off. The underhook there by Marinelli saves from a nice shot from Chenzo. Yeah, and I think that that's the, that's that's the strategy. I think at this point, see, see if. Vincenzo Joseph can get under Marinelli's head hands defense and make it a tougher, tighter match. So a lot of those inside trip and these, these big move positions may get shut down. It's just the adjustments that the coaches will make. You see Marinelli looking for the underhooks, not going over hooks. Yeah, but he's got to get, see, yeah, he throws his hips way back like that. Even though he has the advantage position, that's where, you know, look how relaxed that, that Joseph's right hand is right there. He's looking for that inside trip if you, and see, Marinelli's backed out of it. I, I just, I'm just wagering that that, uh, that at least early in the match, Marinelli's making the decision. I don't want to play with that. I could think I can go ahead and do this through leg attacks. Vincenzo Joseph out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Central Catholic High School was a two-time state champion, but he's also a two-time NCAA champion. First Nittany Lion to ever win NCAA titles as both a freshman and a sophomore. He was so upset last year by Micaiah Lewis, the freshman who is taking an Olympic redshirt year this year. And so he did not get his third title, Chenzo, last year. Got second, looking to try to become a three-timer. Well, these wrestlers are just, there's so much you like about both of these guys. The, the ability to, uh, you know, first of all, go the whole seven minutes hard with good attacks and, and a variety of skills. Both wrestlers can attack both sides of the body. and. They can also ride tough, get out when they need to. The windows have closed down. Like we said before, not spending a lot of time in that inside trip positions. One, one of these guys was going to make that decision that this is an advantage for me, and that looks like uh, the scoreless first period. Through it. And that's the end of the first. Thanks, Look at this beautiful shot there by Joseph. Gets in on the legs and hips of Marinelli. Right, digs hard for that underhook right there. See how he's digging hard with that left-handed underhook and throws him off. Down easy. Uh, Very strong yes, wrestler. Marinelli for the Hawkeyes chooses down. He's a redshirt junior out of St. Paris, Ohio, Graham High School. Oh! And he's a four-time state champion in Ohio. Marinelli got his hips a little bit low there, was reaching across. And here's where I think Joseph has really upped his game this season. He's in the top position. See if he can scoop. Uh, that oh, stay with it. And the escape from Marinelli. First point on the board for the Hawkeye. Marinelli's loss to Chenzo was his first Big Ten loss in his career in the in Carver Hawkeye Arena. 
Big Ten dual meet loss. Said I'm, I'm looking at the elevation of both these wrestlers. Looks like you know Marinelli likes to in distance. He likes to go ahead and get his hands down low on the mat. So Marinelli backing out of that lock position. Mar uh, Joseph looking to get the shot off, come up to a, a lock, and, and Marinelli didn't want much of that position. But I'm looking at the elevation, both guys' heads. It's hard to see when they get ear to ear, but it's clear that Joseph likes to be a little bit higher in his stance than what Marinelli does. And uh, so he jacks him up. And here's the part of the match where it starts to, you know, staying in that low position, forcing Joseph to go low and underneath you. I think that's exactly what Joseph has to do. Is how he faded away there, made Marinelli reach and, and, and step into the shot. Short time in the second period. Ten seconds left. It's 1-0 Marinelli with his quick escape. And there's a drive, and there's that left underhook again. <laughs> Did I just wow. watch a replay? Yeah. He just dug it a little harder that time. Right, and Victor and Sandy Joseph. Down. Victor watching Sandy not like she has for three years. That's a familiar uh, look uh, with uh, Sandy. She hat. can't watch. Victor tells her what's going on. Matt, nice mat return, but not really committed One, to it. Neutral. Marinelli making a decision to try to win this on the feet. Come up, here's the position. And there's uh, the O from the crowd yeah. and the break. <laughs> I'm looking at that. Are they really going to do this one more time? But that, 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 that critical moment here, uh, Marinelli let go of his hands and kind of slid out of that. And it's it's just wisdom. Wisdom. You heard the crescendo. The crowd was going, whoa. Let's listen into the crowd on this replay. <laughs> Says it all. Yeah, says it all. They knew it was coming. <laughs> they are a knowledgeable crowd, and they know what's coming, and they know who the two wrestlers are out there on the mat. Alex Marinelli getting some blood taken care of. There's no injury time for blood time. So you, you ask yourself, what type of shot is going to win this thing, or what, what type of situation is, is going to win it? it? It's still up for grabs. So. You know, Marinelli... Hold on, gentlemen, I don't yeah. want you to Marinelli Don't likes to attack to that uh, the left leg of Joseph, and Joseph pretty much keeps that back. When, he, when Marinelli really needs to score, he's going to go ahead and work hard for that. He dropped in on that one. A little bit tighter grip there. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice reaction there by both guys. So they got in it, but no points. Both these guys, they execute when they're tired. There is no tired in these guys. It's one to one, and we have a minute left in regulation. Tim, I was waiting for each guy to just slap the hand. Hey, good job of getting out of it. Hey, good throw, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. A little more blood time there. I know someone else is probably having a hard time watching. That's Alex Marinelli's wife, Mariah. Got locked up again one more time. We're gonna let the crowd speak for it. <laughs> and there's Victor and Sandy uh, coming. Talk uh, about the windows opening and closing, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Sandy's uh, windows are closed most of the time. The rack doing color. <laughs> it's awesome. It's just a sequence here. Joseph likes to get in. Now he's loose with that right elbow. And Marinelli decides to break out of it. Action, action. He he's not going action. overhooks. He's, he's yeah. digging in for those underhooks. Yeah. Ankle pick, slide by situation. It's just really tough for anybody to get that left handed underhook and work with it. But. I really think that Marinelli is going to shoot to the back leg at some point in time on this. And then Vincenzo Joseph, is he's, he, he wants to attack the right leg of Marinelli. He's gotten there two times. Lost it up there. He got, he he got it. He got it. Two points with 10 seconds left. 
Crossed him up. One point escape. It's three to two, no time left. Marinelli wins a second Big Ten title. And the two-time NCAA champion, Vincenzo Joseph, is shut out from being a Big Ten champion in his career. What an exciting match, though. You're not gonna see many three, three, two matches that are better than that one. How about this one? He crossed me up on this, okay? Goes ahead, shoots to that side. That's actually the side I thought he would go to right there. Came across with a little Bazigar finish. And his wife, Mariah, the director of ops for Hawks, she reacts, yes. Tom Ryan says, that's what we like, and we like Shane, who's with the champ. All right, Alex, anytime you guys get together, everybody's entertained. Once again, you don't disappoint. Walk us through your mindset in those over-under over -under positions when you guys are going to let it fly. I mean, Tom said, if it's there, take it. And it, I don't know, it kind of wasn't there, but uh, stuff happened, and you roll with it, and, you know, you come out on top, so. You guys have wrestled four times. Speak about the respect that you have for Vincenzo Joseph. Yeah, I think uh, in that past duel me, I didn't respect him enough in that over-under position, and now when I'm there, it's better, better be there or I'm getting out of it, so. Good luck in Minneapolis. Yeah, thank you. Alex Mirinelli, two-time Big Ten champion. Go Hawks, baby.